Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello, I wanted to show you today how much you can change a book before you even start drawing in it and using it as an art piece. So first off, I always thin it out a bit. It's great because you can use the pages for other things and that's always good. <laughs> anyway, on this particular book, I had started. So I just wanted somewhere to do some quick charcoal doodles because I was trying out some new charcoals. Book pages make fabulous sketchbook canvases. Anyway, one of the great ways that you can alter books is simply folding and tearing pages before you even start. And later on, you can go back and you can paint them up or you can add embellishments to them. You can do all sorts of things. It's amazing. Like, look at this, just two folds and then I have a little flap and a pocket, which I just love. So I quite like altered books. I feel there's always something to inspire you on the page. Oh, and here I'm actually doing a torn waterfall. Really fun. You can do this with rulers. You can do this really fine and do it with a Stanley knife if you want graduated edge with lots and lots of pages. So many ways that you can use this particular one. But I love the effect at the end here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, we're almost there. There you go. See? Torn waterfall. Told you that's what it was. <laughs> okay, so it's just really, really cute. Now, I've done it where I've done different sayings on each of them. I've done some different colours. I've done them all the same to make it look different. Just lots of things that you can do with all the different ways that you can tear and fold pages. And these are upside down pockets and right way up pockets all together. And you get that lovely little wedge in the middle there which is kind of cute all righty what have i got next i don't remember what i did next oh yeah that's right okay normally i would use a stanley knife for this i thought i'd try it just tearing the pages i am simply making a little book now i'm leaving an edge there because that way it doesn't fall out so it still stays sewn into the signature and normally i would probably just take that little side edge off as well so that you get a cute little square but I I think it'll be nice to have a little torn one because that'll be something different same concept here I couldn't find where my ruler was so I used the lid of a Tupperware container or one of those things and I just made a flippy flat book you know those ones when you're a kid and you could mix and match all the different images and stuff. All right, another way that I like to do uh, folded pages is how things can step out so here you could simply glue the edges and then you get some little pockets or you could do a bit of both or they're little flaps and these are really cute you can actually attach things to those flaps so that they come out as individual cutout pieces i've got all these beautiful pages to play with and the last thing i wanted to show you was simply adding a nice little bit of texture as you go through your books by just playing about and folding them so i folded it this way and then I folded it that way. <laughs> um, all right. So I find when I get into this, it's really mindful and it's really quite lovely to just fold pages and to see the different kind of effects and textures that you get. Now you can glue those down together or you can add little pieces behind them that lift it out so that you can add a message and you can unfold it. There's lots of different things you can do with folded pages but I quite like just sticking them down and then painting over them with something like a pastel or something like uh, even watercolour if you don't make it too wet. Things like that really just picks up the edges. Even an ink pad going over these they look lovely when you just add a little bit of colour or definition to them. And there, folding up the bottom, you get a wee tiny little pocket that you can use or you can just make it another fold. So yeah, folded pages are a lot of fun. So that is how I like to start altered books. I think it's a really fun process. I just love sitting on the lounge, tearing out pages and then tearing and folding as I go through, seeing what I come up with. And I thought you might like it too. <laughs> you can like and subscribe below and please leave a comment and let me know what you thought and I'd love to hear anything else that you'd like to see. And again, so sorry for all the shaky handheld stuff. As always, keep creating.
See you next time. Bye. Bye.